And we are back, back in the building, back with some more boxing. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Smash the like button and all that good stuff. Now guys, this weekend on Showtime, we have ourselves a banger, an absolute banger, guys. Uh, we have the Ozzy, the newly crowned WBO Super Welterweight Champion, Tim Zhu, will be putting his title on the line against a very game opponent and the WBC interim champion, Brian Mendoza. Now this fight takes place at the Gold Coast uh, Convention Center in Australia. So you might wanna check your local listings for the fight time in your area. Now, if you like a good old fashioned brawl, uh, this is one fight that you don't wanna miss. So make sure you tune in for it. Uh, I think it's gonna be, somebody's gonna get knocked out in this fight. I'll say it like that. Some, someone's getting knocked out in this fight. Now let's look at the fighters. Uh, Tim Zhu, uh, like I said, he is the newly crowned WBO champion at Super Welterweight. He's 23 and 0 guys, uh, 17 KOs, and uh, he's coming off of two big, uh, two big knockout wins. Uh, one over Tony Harrison, who I was surprised. I thought Tony Harrison would give him a tougher fight, being that Tony Harrison uh, was a former WBC champion. You guys know he. Uh, defeated Jamel Charlo uh, because they fought two times. He fe defeated Jamel Charlo for that WBC title. And then in the rematch, of course, he was uh, stopped in that fight. And the second, uh, the last win he had was over Carlos Ocampo, uh, who was actually, uh, he fought Errol Spence Jr. back when he was fighting at 147. And he lost that fight in the first round. But then he moved up to 154. And I think he was on a 12 fight winning streak uh, before he ran into Sebastian Fondora. Uh, then he took that L. And so I thought that, you know, Ocampo being, you know, he was a, he was a pretty good puncher. You know, he had really developed his skills. I thought he would be a tough match for Tim Zhu. But Tim Zhu made easy work uh, out of uh, Ocampo as well. So uh, I got my eyes on Tim Zhu. I know a lot of times Americans... We look at fighters uh, across the water, places like Australia, and we don't really give them the chance. But uh, Tim Zhu, he's one of those guys that, you know, I, I think, you know, he's got stardom written all over him. And uh, we're going to see what happens uh, come Saturday night because they're calling him the email champion, of course. Uh, the situation kind of the same with Devin Haney, where he was given the WBC title. Tim Zhu was elevated to the WBO champion due to the fact that uh, Charlo was stripped of the title the moment he stepped in the ring with Canelo Alvarez a couple of weekends ago uh, because Tim Zhu had been sitting on the shelf waiting for his opportunity and then this opportunity falls in Charlo's lap with the Canelo fight so he took that opportunity which you, you can't really blame him for uh, a, a big fight on a huge stage uh, with the cash cow no one's turning that down. So uh, you can't really blame Charlo for that. So Tim Zhu, like I said, was elevated to the WBO champion. Now, his opponent, uh, Brian Mendoza, I think he's been surprising a lot of people. Uh, he's coming off of two signature wins as well. Uh, one over the former unified champion, uh, Jason Rosario, the banana, Jason Rosario. Uh, he stopped Jason and he also stopped the towering inferno, Sebastian Fondora, a guy that I was very interested in. Uh, he seemed like he was on the fast track to becoming uh, superstardom at 154 pounds. And Brian Mendoza flatlined Sebastian Fondora uh, with an overhand right. I think it was an overhand right. Uh, I think it was a straight left and maybe a right, a left hook. No, a straight right and then a left hook, if I'm not mistaken. I can't remember, but. Uh, yeah, he flatlined Sebastian Fundora and his stock really rose after that. So I'm expecting this fight to be not very technical. Uh, both of the guys are, you know, they're not technical boxers. Uh, they are brawlers. Uh, they're heavy punchers. And I know a lot of you guys do enjoy that. Uh, people who don't really mesh with the sweet science as much with the fighters that move around the ring. I, I like it both. I like them both. But, uh, you know, some people gravitate more towards the brawling. Uh, than the actual boxing. So uh, we're going to see what happens. Now, me, myself, I think Tim Zhu will prevail. I, I think his power, uh, I think he has a little bit more pop on his punches 
than Brian Mendoza, but you can't underestimate Brian Mendoza uh, because, you know, I think he likes that underdog status and uh, I think he does have a bright future as well. But anyway, guys, make sure you tune in uh, Saturday night for this fight. Like I said, this is one you don't want to miss. Uh, I think there's definitely going to be a knockout in this fight. So uh, you guys tell me what you think about it. Uh, who do you have in the fight? Do you think there'll be a knockout? What round do you think the knockout will be in? You guys let me know about that in the comment section. It's the CMB. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. And I'm out. Peace.